Picasso and Stravinsky both shared an incredible ability to evolve. Each of them worked in styles that would have been enough for one composer or one artist's entire lifetime. And in a lot of ways, Picasso and Stravinsky both left material for generations to draw on. I mean, you can isolate measures of Stravinsky and hear minimalism that happens, you know, 60 years later. In Cubism, you see this in the exhibit too. It looks like Picasso is going towards almost complete abstraction. And then what happens? He goes to Italy, he sees these classical sculptures, and he goes back to Paris, and all of a sudden these beautiful lyrical lines come into his drawings. He does portraits that are very beautiful. One of them, wonderful portrait of Igor Stravinsky. The same thing happens with Stravinsky's music, and Stravinsky starts looking back, as Picasso does. And they collaborated on the ballet, Pulcinella. Stravinsky went back, listened to the music of Pergolesi. They both got very involved with this idea of classical clean lines. And this turned into the Suite Italienne, which we will have performed for violin and piano. And you enter into that completely different world after the violence uh, that was created by something like Les Demoiselles d'Avignon and the Rite of Spring.